Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on adding or subtracting fractions with different denominators. Now in the previous video we saw how we could add fractions with the same denominator. So for example if we had 5 eighths of something and then we added on 2 eighths of something we could represent that visually. So if we had say a pizza and we divided it into eighths then if we have 5 of those eighths 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 eighths and then if we were to take an additional 2 eighths we have 1, 2 in total we have 7 of those eighths so we can see when the denominators are the same then we can just add the numerators but here we've got half and a quarter they're not the same denominator so we can't just add these numbers now if the denominators were the same then we could add the numerators so what we need to do is to change these denominators so they're both the same now do you also remember that whatever we do to the top of a fraction we can do the same to the bottom to keep the fraction the same and what we do is we work out what number does 2 and 4 go into so what's a common multiple of 2 and 4 well 2 and 4 both go into 4 can you see that if you turn this into something over 4 well we've multiplied the bottom by 2 so we have to do the same to the top we have to times the top by 2 as well so if we do 1 times 2 we get 2 so we can see a half is the same as 2 quarters but now look we can add that quarter and this is easy now we've got 2 quarters plus an extra 1 quarter and we have three quarters because we can now just add the numerators now that the denominators are the same. Let's do that with this second one. Now if you want to write something for your notes, write this. If the denominators are different, make them the same by finding a common multiple. So we've got three fifths minus a third. Let's look at these denominators. Can you find a common multiple of five and three? Well, 5 and 3 both go into 15. So we can make each of these over 15. We're going to have to change both of them this time. Now, what do we have to times the 5 by to get to the 15? Well, that got 3 times bigger. And therefore, because whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do the same to the top. We have to times the top by 3 as well. 3 times 3 is 9. So 3 fifths is the same as 9 fifteenths. And a third is the same as how many fifteenths? Well, we multiply the denominator by 5, so we need to multiply the numerator by 5. The 1 becomes 5. And now, same denominator, so we can just subtract these numerators. 9 minus 5 is 4. So we have 9 fifteenths, and we subtract 5 fifteenths. We have 4 fifteenths left. There's a second method uh, which you might like, which involves a bit less thinking, but doesn't always give you a fraction in its simplest form. Now what you could do is multiply the denominators and you cross multiply, which I'll explain in a second, the numerators. So for the 3 fifths minus a third again, we multiply the denominators, 5 times 3 is 15, and then the numerators we do something called cross multiplying, and that's to multiply in a kind of cross type fashion, like this, this is a cross. So that 3 gets multiplied by the 3, which is 9. Then we've got the minus in the middle. And then that 1 gets multiplied by the 5. That's 5. And then 9 minus 5 is 4. So we get 4 fifteenths. So if you prefer that method, you're very welcome to use it. 